All right, we're back again with another episode of Roofer Reflections. I'm really excited because we have Ron here, who's a guest referral. So thank you, Ron, for coming on the show. Not a problem. I'm looking forward to it. Adjusting construction. How'd you get? Uh, how'd you get into it? So my love for construction started when I was uh, in real estate. I was I've been a real estate broker since 2001 um, in the state of Texas. Uh, in 2003, I had a friend of mine that was flipping houses and he brought me under his tutelage and I started learning how to remodel and build houses. And, and uh, we did that for five years uh, until the crash in 2008 and I had to figure out something else to do. Uh, somebody suggested being an adjuster and that's how I ended up on this side of the fence. Yeah, for sure. And w- walk me through the, uh, the residential side. How did that business work? And then, you know, walk me through the commercial and the differences. There wasn't really any training in our industry when it comes to public adjusting. When I got in the business in 2012, me and Alan, who's been with me for 15 years now, uh, were able to put it together systems and processes to make it so that we were more efficient than anybody else in the industry. And we were able to train people up to be able to take residential claims. And, and usually we were able to handle them within 45 to 60 days. Um, what we saw the writing on the wall a couple of years ago, though, that uh, deductibles were getting high and ACV policies were coming out. And, and uh, generally what happens in Florida will happen in Texas within in a few years. And, I watched what was happening in Florida, so uh, we made the push towards commercial. Uh, and now, I mean, the majority of the stuff that we look at in residential, somebody has a 3% deductible and an ACV policy, and they really don't have any coverage, and somebody's going to have to get financing for that thing anyway. So there's no need for a public adjuster. Uh, now, that's not to say that there aren't residential claims that uh, are still good, and they still have a 1% deductible. and there's enough money because we don't charge on the deductible. So if somebody has a $5,000 deductible, we don't charge on it. Uh, We charge after that deductible uh, moving forward. And there's just not as um, many claims out there on the residential end uh, as there used to be. So you've been an owner for a while. Um, What have you learned in that process? Cash flow is a big deal in this business, you know, um, Carriers like to hold on to the money as long as they can. And if you don't have sufficient funds and, and if you're not uh, keeping your company capitalized, uh, you're going to implode before long. I mean, and with the way that uh, ACV is and deductibles are, I mean, I'm, I've been telling people for a couple of years now that they need to learn the retail market on the residential side and learn how to get that homeowner financing so that they can have their money instantly and they don't have to worry about uh, uh, insurance company not paying for six months or whatever. That's that's going to be on the property owner at that point in time. What sort of advice would you give to people that are interested in pot- uh, potentially, uh, you know, joining the industry as for a career? Work for an honest company that uh, has good training. I mean, one of the biggest things in this industry that is pretty sad is uh, they'll tell you, go to this area and and knock on all these doors but they don't tell you how to knock on the doors they don't tell you how to talk to the property owners they just say go get an inspection and you know there needs to be more training when it comes to that then after you've learned how to knock on doors there needs to be better training when it comes to like I was in the roofing business for a short period of time and the largest uh, majority of the referrals we got was from insurance agents so after we did a good job for a customer we'd go talk to their agent and then we'd make multiple trips back to that agent so that they got to know us and you know it takes four or five times for somebody to remember your name and that way the next time they had a problem they would call us if you're in the roofing industry and you get 100 referrals from somebody you're set for the year 